Hi there, Renee Asse of Lowell, Massachusetts. And as a parent, a Catholic parent, apparently I've been raising my kids without rules for the past two decades. Now my kids are older, they're young adults in high school and college, and I've never had rules. So I asked my like my youngest, like, are there rules in the house? And goes like, I no, not really, I don't know. And I asked the other kid, I was like, well, there's sort of like expectations, but there's no rules. I asked one of the kids in college, text him, goes, are there rules in this house? And like, he's like, everything's like at your discretion, honestly, but it's like, we don't cause problems, you don't cause problems. And I'm thinking, where did I get this style? And I'm thinking about my own parents. A situation in spring of 97, I was a sophomore in college, and this college was not working for me. It just wasn't the right fit. I wasn't really connecting with the professors. In April, I remember calling up my dad going, I'm not coming back here next year. Like, I didn't really have plans for the following academic career, academic year in September. But I just told my dad, I, said, I don't think I'm coming back here next year, but don't worry, I'm going to finish out my classes. And I finished out. At least I got all these passing grades to transfer over. But I did not, I did it because I did not want to disappoint my parents. And this disappointment wasn't because I feared my parents or like they would be angry at me. I, I knew that they loved and cared for me. They provided a secure attachment. They, I had trust with them. I trusted my parents. Like my parents have never really screwed me over, which is a wonderful thing as a child. Like no child, I've seen stuff like that, honestly. But I come from a really stable, secure home. And my parents love me and they love each other, but we're not like the lovey, affectionate, um, huggy, I love you types either. And I wasn't raised religious. I mean, I was a nominal Catholic. Um, my brother passed away. So like we did have Catholicism, but we did not go to mass whatsoever. I did do confirmation and everything, but we we're not regular mass goers. But I just remember that point in my life where as a, like just turned 20 years old and I had enough trust and care for my parents and love for them not to disappoint them even though things weren't going right at college. And that's almost like the pinpoint of like how I've been raising my kids. There are no rules in my house. They just sort of like go with the flow. And if you, if the parents love one another and they have a secure attachment one another, another, the children see that and they just sort of conform to their environment, I guess, right? And then we love our children. So, um, the woman from A Catholic Mom's Life, I'm sorry if I don't know your name. She has a great channel, like over 100,000 views. And I was kind of like concerned, like, is this one of these other, like, lifestyle catholic -y ones? But some of her advice, even though we have very different lifestyles, very different ways of being as Catholics, um, just generationally, because I think I'm significantly older than her, by the way. She was talking about the relationship with God, and relationship with your spouses and relationship with your kids. And if you have a secure attachment, a strong relationship with God, a prayerful life, a, where you know that you don't want to disappoint God, you know that God loves you and you love God and you don't want to disappoint him. Not because you fear him, but because you love him. And then you take that love that you have for God and you find a spouse. And she makes a really good point about your spouse that never replaces God and vice versa. You don't idolize your spouse because your husband is a human being just like you. And if he has a strong attachment, a strong love for God, and he doesn't want to disappoint God, then you're together and you're both not disappointing God. <laughs> and you take that love and then you share that love with the children. And we have a really stable home. Like, we really don't fight. The house is pretty clean. But it's more than just keeping a clean house and not fighting, right? It's about having a heart as big as the world. Taking that love you have for God and not wanting to disappoint Him. Taking that love for your husband and not wanting to disappoint each other. And you have a secure trust, stability that you, you're... You're, you have word, you have virtues where you can trust one another and you're not going to stab each other in the back. Imagine being a child growing up with your parents always stabbing each other in the back. 
that's horrifying to me having a parent who had no secure attachments and could not connect to, to a religious entity even though my parents weren't really like religious I, they do believe in God and they do believe in a heaven and a hell and they wouldn't want to disappoint they definitely do dis, don't want sadly enough disappoint my brother who has passed away um, but you have all these secure attachments and you don't have to worry about what's going on at home so you can focus on school you can focus on friends you can focus on other things and take that love and then the children because you are the role model for the children of love and that's ultimately your goal as a married couple open to procreation but it's really sad when i hear people like we just stay together for the kids like that's not the goal of marriage if you don't have a secure attachment with the husband and the wife and you don't have a secure attachment to some sort of i guess this is i'm catholic but you know what i mean like to some sort of religious entity of love um i do wish people would be more likely catholic but one of the things I talk about with Craig and Jonah and what happened and their conversation with Father Carr um, was that the church isn't about rules. Yes, there's tons of rules, the whole catechism and that, right? But if you just look at the sacrament of marriage, it's not really rules. If you look at the catechism and the sacrament of marriage, they're sort of explaining the purpose of marriage and the understanding of marriage. And taking that love and that trust and those attachments, one from God, bringing it together. And all my four kids have turned out perfectly fine. Not just, they don't want to just disappoint us, but we don't want to disappoint them either. So we take care of our spiritual life with God and our prayer life and our religious life with the sacraments. And then we also take care of each other as husband and wife. And then the kids see all this love and they be, they just conform and they take it and they just soak it up, right? Imagine your children just soaking up love every day of people getting along, not stabbing each other in the backs and being jerks to each other, right? And, you know, it's like this occurs like even with your in-laws, you know, it's like imagine if I, with my mom, we are very different personalities, my mother-in-law and I. But we're not stabbing each other in the back. <laughs> um, we just understand we're just very different people who both love the same man, which is her son and my husband are the same person. But we just have different ways of doing that, right? And same thing with my parents. You know, they, they care for me and my husband cares for me in very different ways. I Sometimes I think my parents love my husband more than me, which is understandable. <laughs> um just so it was just really wonderful i just want to talk about that because people were talking about like the rules the trads you know the traditional catholicism is never about this relationship with god and love it's all about just sticking to the rules and not even enjoying the rules you're supposed to enjoy these attachments you're supposed to enjoy love and if you look at the catechism the sacred of marriage yeah, there's, there's rules of defining what marriage is, but there's no actual rules. There's no gender rules, as they say. Anyway, this is a rant, and I love you all.